Hello everyone, welcome back to Kimball's Corner. Today we are going to be working with aqua pastels. Ooh, aqua pastels. Not just any aqua pastels, they're Jane Davenport aqua pastels. Yay, JDMM. <laughs> Look at me, just getting right into it like I know what I'm doing. These it are fun. It is 10.07 a.m. in the morning. We got right out of bed and came in to record <laughs> audio. Okay. Well, I've been up since 7.30, Okay, well. <laughs> um, you yeah. win. Well not a competition. So Kimball, what inspired this piece? Uh, I don't know. I think this might be the first time I used the new camera setup, so it's like an above angle. Hopefully I don't put my head in the way. And for those of you who don't know what the camera setup is, it's one of those like traditional like desk lamps, mm -hmm, yeah. but instead of a lamp, it's like a phone clamp on the end. More fancy. Uh, look at me. Just so What are you doing? Uh, I'm using color to create a face. Gotcha. So did you have any kind of reference for this or was it just... No, I just made it up as I went. Oh, aren't um, you fancy? But it's so much easier to control um, instead of just doing it with watercolors. Like you can, it's like easier to draw it out and then do watercolors. Mm. A lot of people don't like drawing it out because they're like, oh, it's like an extra step. Why not just go in right, like right in with watercolors? But I don't know. This way you have a lot more control of what you're doing and you can... Does like, it help you be like more intentional with what you're doing? Not necessarily, but I mean, I don't, it's, Listen, I just wanted to sound smart. So <laughs> can you just, agree? it's just more control. <laughs> it's, but I like to layer the colors. A lot of people like put one color down, water it out, let it dry, do another color, water it out, let it dry. I'm like, no, just do them all. <laughs> so wait, the purpose of these are you can go back over these with water later. Yeah. Okay. And it'll basically turn them into a watercolor. Um, that reminds me of those like paint by number books or like the ones where you just add water to the oh, yeah, different they numbers have, like, and they come in. Well, it's not, it's not really numbers, but they have like that little yellow line yes, that you yes. start coloring on and it bleeds it out. Yeah. This is a little um, better this than that. <laughs> version 2.0 of that. Oh, going in with the water. Oh, look at that. Wow. But water really fun. is the life source of all things. Is that true? I guess. I don't know. James Probably. Cameron thinks so. That's so right. how long did this end up taking you? Uh, I think... It took me 25 minutes. I think we just sped it up to do twice as fast. So so it's like at 12 right now? Yeah. Okay. I think it was 26 minutes, actually. Does she have a name? Purple Hair Girl. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of Purple Hair Girls. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't really name them. I just... So when you're doing all this color smudging, do you ever worry that you're going to, like, take it too far? Um, how do you mean? Like, when you went over her cheek blush, like, I wouldn't think to, like, make it the rest of her face color, too. Oh, well, in that case, it kind of just worked out. But yes, I, I do uh, take it too far sometimes. I'll take my brush. Can you water I'll, it down so it takes well, it back? I'll wash my brush off first and then just go right on the edge of the color to kind of bleed it out so it won't keep, like, covering her whole face kind of thing. But in this instance, I didn't mind because it looked like she had rosier cheeks with a little bit of flesh going across her face. So what's, like, the main technique for achieving this type of a look, then? Uh, so you draw it out first, like the main shapes and like the main colors. Yeah. I mean, what I do isn't going to work for everybody because a lot of people don't like just layering on the colors like I do. Um, but basically I was trying to get like a first... Squirrel! <laughs> yeah, there's about six of them out there running around their backyard. Sorry. Um, but the, uh, I was basically trying to like lay down some colors and get a variety and get like an underpainting started so I can start layering on top of it. I love your gold glitter hair dryer. Yeah, thank you, Target. From Target. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they have them anymore, so, you know, I'm fancy. Oh. Um, All right, also, then. Well, and also with these, it's cool because you can just leave it like that, and it's like a nice texture. Like, the, not the painting, but like the drawing that I'm doing it with it right mm -hmm. now has like a nice texture, so a lot of people like to do that look. Um, I get torn with texture. Sometimes I love it. I love it when other people do it, and then, like, I feel like I don't do it right, so it starts to bother me. But mm. But uh, what is I am, right? I am getting better with it. Well, what I like is no, what's right. It, yeah. <laughs> well, it's exactly. what's right for me. That is the right answer. <laughs> so, um, are there any like technique or like tips for people who want to try to emulate this? You can uh, click those three dots on the side of the YouTube thing and hit half speed <laughs> and watch it slower. <laughs> um, yeah, I, really, I don't know. It's I don't know what to tell people because everybody works differently. Even, like, I've chatted with a few people that actually try to uh, just straight-up copy what I'm doing, and, it, I mean, it doesn't look the same, and they, they almost get frustrated because it didn't turn out, or uh, the technique just didn't work for them. Mm -hmm. So I'm just giving you an idea of... Well, I'm showing you what I do, but also giving you an idea of how you might be able to 
take what you can from this video and do your own twist on it. Mm, well said. Well said, Kimball. Mm -hmm. You really apply okay. that to everybody. You know what? Thank you. <laughs> um, On but a side note, I gave up coffee this week. I'm sorry. I'm having withdrawals. And soda. And soda. Basically caffeine. Yeah, just everything. I'm only drinking water. You gave up all your happiness, except yeah. for me. I feel um, a little weird about it. That's nice. Back to me. Yeah. So I think this might be the first drawing that I layered the aqua pastels. Pastels. I say pastels because does that mean pastels. like you did thing, water them down, dry, dry them, it. and then yeah. go over again? Yeah, because normally I'm pretty sure I usually just like go <laughs> go all out with them and like just color the entire face and everything, and then water it down. And so, why did you do it this way? What were you not getting from the other method? Uh, no, I mean, there's nothing. This is a little. Again, I guess it's just a little more control because mm. I can build so, up slowly, like my layers. So kind of like watercolors, you build out layers and yeah. I mean, go with the, uh, those intense eyes. <laughs> Do you feel like you get a different look than watercolors with this? Oh, yeah, because you have, like, the crown texture. I mean, it, it'll take a bit of scrubbing with your brush to get rid of the texture completely, but the eye didn't want to. Like, that's why I use them as well, because you get that little... Like in the hair? Yeah, you get that little bit of texture. I'm, I think I'll water that out, but it, the texture will always be there just a tiny, tiny bit, whereas watercolors gives their own texture but not like it takes on the texture of the paper yeah it, you don't have like the crown sometimes they'll call i think it's called like cauliflower or blooming or something in watercolor when they cauliflower let's not talk about that well, bad memories. i think bad it's memories blooming um is when like the water like, creates like a hard edge and stuff. much like you after you ate cauliflower let's not talk about that <laughs> um i think i went with those colored eyes because they because the yellowy is there a wrapper on those compliments the purple on the on the pastels yeah yeah okay yeah you just, oh yeah there it looked like there wasn't when you first buy them they have like a waxy coating on the end as well so you need to like take a just like a damp um paper towel or something and just kind of rub the ends on like to get the wax off the so end. where can people get these particular ones then uh i got them from michael's and if they don't have a michael's near them michael's.com <laughs> and if they don't have a michael's.com jane davenport.com if they don't have a jane davenport.com Amazon. I'm just trying to give you a challenge here. I mean, you can do Amazon.com, but that's always iffy because if they're selling them for super cheap on Amazon, it's probably because they got them not in a very um, legal way. Oh, okay. I don't know. That's, Shady that's, characters. That's my personal feeling on that, but who So knows? I know that you always go, like, you take a dark through the middle of the lips, like, to do the under for the upper, and then you do, like, right below the bottom lip, too, with, like, a darker color of some kind. Yeah. Usually, like, a bluish or, like, a purplish. That is true. That is, that's what I do. <laughs> nice. I mean, it always depends on where the light's coming from, but I tend to do lighting from just, I think it might be because I'm right-handed or maybe just because that's what I'm used to. Like I always draw profiles looking to the left and I always do shading to the left. I think. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's just all your character's good sides <laughs> Obviously. happen to be that way. And then I come in with my colored pencils because I love the neon pink. So did you do this because you couldn't get the same color with the other things or the same look or is it just helped define things? Kind of all the above. Oh, okay. Perfect. Um, also, I wanted them to be set. Obviously, the colored pencil isn't going to bleed move. out. Yeah, if I get them. Well, wet. unless... Unless you use Gamsol. Gamsol, which is also highly flammable and don't Do breathe it in. Toxic. Um, yes, yeah, so I just learned about Gamsol a couple of days ago, really. I mean, I'd seen it before, but I've never played with it because I always thought it was for oil paints, which I think technically it's... So basically it turns for, your pen colored pencils into like a watercolor type uh, of a thing? More like or? A, it looks more like an oil painting. Like it kind of just melts the wax. And I mean, so then you just, what, use Q-tips to move it around? Yeah. Interesting. I'm going to work on that, practice that a little bit, come up with a video, see, see how that turns out. So you know, you're bringing more white in to accentuate the highlights? Yeah, because I'm not one of those people that's like... The white must come from the white of the paper, and that is it. Uh -huh. I'm not a purist, <laughs> obviously. I used to be, and artwork was so much less enjoyable because I would get so frustrated. It's like, white is your undo button of sorts. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Basically. She's cute. Well, thanks. You know, I'm sure what she is she like? That. Where is she heading out right now? Like, what's she doing in her day? Um, uh, what's her story, Kimball? I don't know. Who is that pale with that much rouge on their cheeks? And mm, their that's a good point. And that much eye makeup. Is she from Paris? She could be um, trying to emulate a geisha look, but uh, probably not. Oh, she's from Asia. 
well, not from Asia. She could be visiting. She's inspired by? Yes, maybe. She went to maybe. KCON. And she's oh my like, God, I just learned about KCON. Excited about that. When you first said KCON, by the way, I was thinking it was like, get your cake on. I know, right? Like, get your cake on. <laughs> and that is another thing I would on. be into. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I love doing like the random strands. I used to like draw hair as like a bunch of ribbons, basically, or like a clump of hair. But now I'm into like the... Abstract. Well, more like paint, just a, a full like shape. shape. Yeah. And then do like random strands of line to give an idea of the hair flow. It seems like it's a lot less work. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's cool. And keeping it loose and sketchy, like the viewer kind of fills it in with their brain and makes it okay to look at. Oh, it's their journey too. <laughs> and then I had this obsession for a very long time of using the white extra fine Sharpie to... Water-based. Like do like the sides of the faces and stuff. But that one's discontinued, which I'm okay with because Jane is coming out with a new one. Woo! And I think it comes out in April. I'm excited to see that. Me too. I'm excited to have that. <laughs> Where are we at right now? Oh, 11. Oh, Kimball, it's wrapping up. Well, yeah. This went way too fast. It's like, you know, when I bring out the white highlighter thingy, whatever, it's getting close to Just the when I finally started having a good time. I'm sorry, babe. I'm just we could, have, <laughs> could have done it for 15 minutes. Oh, look, she's pretty. She's done. And then you have to like, name her in the next five seconds. Five, four, three, two, Goldie. Because her eyes are golden. <laughs> and Goldie Hawn. Who doesn't love Goldie Hawn? Oh, my gosh. Someone doesn't because they're not right in the head. They're entitled to their opinion. Mm, some opinions are wrong. Um, <laughs> and then I took a photo of it, but I like totally warmed it up because I like to do that. Plus I like the warm look on the face and like the like pinks and stuff. So the actual photo isn't going to look quite like the finished piece. Yellow makes a huge difference in all your pieces. Yeah. Oh, we have to say goodbye now. Good job. <laughs> we can stop it now. Well, they have the end of the video too that comes on. Oh, well. There's that little screen um, that sits there and says, like, subscribe. If you would like to know what I listen to as I create, I listen to Seventeen. They're a great K-pop band. <laughs> there you go. What song were you listening to in this? I think it's, it's the one with Home on it. You've got two seconds. It's on the dawn. You are my dawn. Hotter than the dawn. Brighter than dawn. You are All my right, dawn. All right, love you, bye. Dawn, dawn. Love you, bye.